Hi Taurus, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of February the 1st to February the 8th. I want to thank all of you who have an interest in my channel and for everybody sharing these videos with their family members and friends. I'm truly blessed and grateful for that. For all the people requesting new readings with me, I welcome you into the circle. And for all my repeat clients, you know you're in the circle with me. I hold space for you and we truly are now in the circle of friendship. I was guided today by my angels and guides to do this reading a little bit different today. So there's a little bit of a twist to it. I wanted to uh, connect to my new Doreen Virtue uh, Guardian Angel Tarot deck and I have been doing that and today uh, my guide said you're going to use that deck, but you're only going to use the major cards in it, the 21 major cards. Now the thing with the 21 major cards in any tarot deck is that they give you deeply meaningful lessons, okay? So these messages are very profound, strong uh, messages that will come into you. So I chose to do a three card reading rather than a Monday through to Sunday seven card reading because these cards incorporate all of that into uh, the three card read. In addition to that, I did still bring in that one oracle message at the end of this three card reading. So please, by all means, let me know, uh, send me some feedback how you received these uh, and what you thought of it. So we start the beginning of the week on Monday, my friend, with the Go Within card. And this particular Go Within card, it is the, uh, the number two major card, which is a High Priestess card. And this is all about your very in, you're a very intuitive person. Some of you uh, Taurus out there, and um, there's many wonderful insights that lie within you that uh, I think now are starting to come out. And they're waiting inside of you to emerge right now. So this is all about, um, basically, uh, some of you are, are tapping into being more clairvoyant, uh, you're receiving inner guidance, and some of you are actually experiencing psychic energy and deeper wisdom of your own. This card also speaks of keeping your, mess keeping your message within yourself for a little bit longer and not letting it all out at this moment. And there's things that are going on that you want answers to, but you need to know that those answers will be coming into you in the beginning of the week uh, in, in, in the perfect timing, okay? It, you're going to hear what you want to hear uh, at the beginning of the week, but it's going to take, uh, it's, it's going to come, but it will be at that right moment that it should come. In the beginning of the week, crowning your week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this one card incorporates those three days of the week, you have manifest your dreams. So basically, it is the number one major card, which is the dreamer or the fool in regular tarot. And it's all about a new journey that some of you are going to be on and you're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. This card says you can do this, you can manifest this, you can, uh, you can uh, believe and manifest your dreams right now. This is all about taking the first steps towards changes that you desire, that you've been dreaming about and wanting to do. Even if they're small steps, know that you can move forward because this also means that there is some uh, unexpected resources coming into you that will help you to manifest what you're working on right now, whether it's something to do with your job, if whether it has to do with a relationship, uh, whether it has to uh, do with some sort of a project you're working on, know that this can happen, okay? Know that it can happen. It's all about communication right now uh, for some of you, and it's all about um, uh, focusing on this issue more and using your own intellect to manifest these things happening and know that uh, it's like things are going to happen for you and you're going to say, oh my gosh, that was like miraculous. How did that happen? Well, that's because you're going to be receiving some unexpected resources that's going to assist you with making your dreams come true. At the end of the week, on Saturday and Sunday, you have been given and this is the lover's card, and it's called Open Your Heart. So, okay, the love card, it's the love card. It's basically about relationships in some of your lives and making choices that are very, very profound and hopefully they're life-changing and forever and ever. And when this happens to us, 
we need to know that we need to be balanced. We need to balance our, our, our mental focus, we need to balance our spiritual and our emotional, and we need to balance that energy within ourselves. And that by doing that, you're going to be able to allow love to grow and blossom all around you. Some of you have been waiting a long time for this emotionally at fulfilling experience for such a long time. And uh, now the time has come. So this speaks of this happening for some of you. You've been wanting this type of a relationship. You've been wanting uh, a soulmate. You've been wanting companionship. You've been wanting that one. So um, it's about listening to your own heart and then following the steps that you need to do that you're guided to take. Um, and this will lead you to your bliss and your joy. So um, what I'm saying is just keep your eyes open to any new possibilities coming in, any new acquaintances uh, and encounters you're having with people coming in around you. At the end of the week, I did incorporate that one oracle card. And this is what my guides gave you, Taurus. Let your past go. So basically, you can't be any more direct than that. It's about some people clinging to things, whether it's uh, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's a friendship, uh, whether it is a place on the planet you live, whether it's uh, material things you hold on to. Um, it, this is all about you letting that go, letting your past go, letting that baggage go. You don't own it anymore. It's not on this new path that your guides are leading you on. So let the burden of carrying, uh, carrying around your past that has made you weary, give it to your guides and your angels. Sit with yourself and in the silence, whether you meditate or just on your own and in your mind, uh, just say, I need to release this. I, I can't carry this load. I can't drag this manure wagon behind me any longer. I can't do it. It's my past. It can't be changed. And I want to move forward in a more positive direction. And by asking your guides and angels to step forward, they're there. They'll take it in a minute just like that, a second just like that. And all of a sudden, you're going to feel so much better because all of a sudden now you believe it's gone. You, you've released it. And it, it's not there anymore. So that you're free. You're freed up to move forward on your path in a positive direction. So let your past go. It was then. This is now. We can plan tomorrow. Tomorrow might not come. So, my friend, please live for this moment right now. I want to thank you again and I leave you with another quote and the quote that I chose today for you Taurus is everything will make perfect sense so for now laugh at the confusion smile through the tears be strong and keep reminding yourself that everything happens for a reason See you again next week, my friends, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.